Well, hey everybody, this is Robin Table with Table Freelance, and I have a pleasure to have uh, one of Walter's top shooters with us, Wancic Kemp. How's it going? Uh, Wancic, tell me about long stroking. Long stroking is, is, a, is a new concept to me. I've heard of short stroking all the time, you know, generally in the right. PCC world, but long stroking, what, what is long stroking? Well, basically, what long stroking is making the stroke longer. I mean, by, the total by definition. Of the slide, yes, yes. About, right? Okay. So the distance of the slide going all the way mm -hmm. is, is going to get longer. So basically what he's saying, if uh, generally saying how pistol works is there's a buffer in the front so that it only travels to the ejection clip. To the point of ejection. Yeah, ejection port. Mm -hmm. So just enough to have the breast hit the ejector and then mm -hmm. just flip out of there. Right. Uh, but there's other guns that has longer distance to the ejector and shorter distance to the ejector too. Okay. So in a concept, so to say, if you're shooting a very small pistol, like a subcompact pistol, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a shorter stroke. Okay. Because distance from the tip of the barrel and where the ejection happens, is shorter. Okay. Some guns, five inch, six inch, whatever, uh -huh. they generally have a longer stroke okay. from the, the how much side cycles back, depends on you know, 1911, 2011s, tends to have longer stroke okay. compared to guns like striker fire guns. Huh. So in you know, a concept, I mean, the long stroke term is to just make up a name to say, hey, I'm, I want the slight cycle longer. Okay. Yes, the distance longer. And so how does one do that in a handgun? Because usually everything is pretty fixed. You know, the, uh, the dust cover uh, comes Not really. Some point. guns over here, uh, like Walther over here, has a, like I said, buffer in the beginning. Oh, so to okay. fit... Basically, what Walther does is five inch, four inch. They use the same recoil guide rod. Right. Glock is somewhat similar, except 19 is a shorter guide rod. Now their system is different. Right. But Walther, four inch, five inch, they're all same length of guide guide rod. Right. And to fit that, because five inch have longer slide, they put a buffer in the front, so you can still use the same length guide rod. And that's what it ships with, right? Yes. Yeah. And you take that piece out, the buffer piece oh, out. Oh, it's removable in the Walther. Yes. Okay. So you can put a longer uh, spring there so that when the buffer comes out, basically what it does, it just goes all the way forward. Yeah, it would, all it would the way let back. the slide go right on by you know, yes. until you get to the, new, to the new stopping point. Yeah, that makes it longer stroke. Okay. So what's the effect of that? First of all, it's more reliable. Okay. Imagine if there's an ejector port, uh -huh. ejector, the, the, the hook, uh, to you eject the breast. Oh, the, the not the extractor, the ejector. ejector. Okay, so the, so ejector. the breast hits the ejector and breast gets tossed out. Right. But imagine if the ejector goes much more forward because the slide is going backwards. Sure, you would completely so, pass the ejector. Yes, yeah. pass the ejector. So there's very less likely the ejection will be weak right. and cause malfunction. Okay. And another thing is, if you put very light recoil spring, sometimes uh, the slight one go into the battery very, very uh, firmly. Yeah, yes. I've got one that's doing that to me right now. Yeah, sometimes uh, if you use very weak recoil spring mm -hmm. and your round is not as clean, mm -hmm. some maybe oversized a little bit, yeah. then it can have that stoppage, not right. shutting all the way and not firing the round. Right. But if the slide is going further back, it has more inertia, more momentum. More time to pick up energy. Yes, the shutting is more confident. So okay. even if you have, especially reloaders, mm -hmm. if you have a bad round, it'll likely push it very confidently and yeah, still shoot. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. So overall, very reliable. There's another gun, Tenfolio, recently uh, made their stroke longer too. Really? So yes, Tenfolio, Stock 2s and whatever... Uh, Definance uh, models, okay. they all come out. I have it at home, the older version and newer version. I think it was around 2020 that made a switch. Uh, they changed the whole slide design, but during the time, they made the cut of the, the same as like the buffer I was talking about, right. but except our buffer is removable. Right. Tenfolio is like a built-in buffer in the front. So they actually cut that off a little bit, making it longer yeah, stroke. Longer stroke. Yes. Yeah. So I had a lot of feedback uh, I ask people around who's using the longer one, yeah. and they all say more reliable, no malfunctions, and softer feel. I would imagine so, because you've got a little bit, another couple of microseconds of slide travel in order yes. to absorb that. There's a pros and cons as a shooter to have something wrong stroked. First of all, uh, the pro is yes, reliability already talked about. Second one is 
a little softer feel because the spring is bleeding out the slight speed uh -huh. a little over a longer time. by the time yeah. when the actual frame and the slide hits yeah a little less shock okay so people say it's softer feel because it's less shock sure yes okay. because how much if the slide is super fast going back mm -hmm. and then it hit, bottoms out and mm -hmm. it hits the Slaps. frame yeah. that slaps the hand right so the hotter ammo you use the the stronger slap you'll feel mm -hmm. the vibration some people don't like that and of course there's another factor of recoil so right. muzzle flip things like that people yeah. talk about uh, so people, some people like that to have less shock. So is, is the benefit. idea that you run a lighter recoil spring but longer? That's uh, that longer, longer, yes, stroke? for sure. Yes, so. depends on the stroke. You have to custom fit that length of the spring for sure. The spring, okay. Yes. And do you generally run a much lighter spring and a long much stroke? lighter spring? Yeah. And does that generally? I would think that means you have less initial phase on the recoil. Classically, when you run to a lighter Basically, spring, you have less on the front end. And more on yeah, back. when we talk about recoil, there's two things we talk about. The first one is actual spring you have to hold on to. Right. Because when you cock the slide, there's uh -huh. a spring tension that yeah, your yeah, hand has to, yes. Yeah. If the lighter spring is in there, mm -hmm. the initial spring tension on your hand and the wrist is going to be less. Okay. So typically saying, if you're limp resting, mm -hmm. wrist is, should be locked properly. Right. But if you're not, uh -huh. then yes, it's going to be more reliable that way and okay. less amount of flip on your wrist if you're rimp wristing. Wow. Okay. Um, mm. The lighter spring would be harder on the gun though, wouldn't it? Because now the... Well, it's longer, stra uh, oh, longer stroke, longer stroke, yes. Right. It okay. travels longer during that travel, it bleeds out more. It bleeds out more time. Yeah, okay. lowers the sure. velocity of the slide. Oh, the impact velocity of the, right. of the... It's still traveling at speed, but it's going to slow down by... The... Yes. Now, the con as a shooter is that cycle is longer now. Uh-huh. So some people conceivably say, hey, the dot recovers slower. A little more wiggle. You know, on the no, the whole cycle time is slower. So okay. during the cycle, the dot moves because the whole gun is in recoil motion. It okay. recovers a little late. So you're talking like the difference between a 124 and a 147 grain bullet? Kind of? It's somewhat similar analogy, yes. Okay. That's a good comparison. Okay. Yes. Very good. So, oh, wow, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. But in PCC, like you said, PCC short stroke is the answer because you, you don't. Yeah. Yes, you don't need to stroke that far to eject the brass. That's one mm -hmm. thing. So reliability-wise, there's no reason to have their full stroke of two to three or five, five, six rounds. Right. Another thing is the faster it cycles, faster is you know faster shot, it recovers. Shot. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. see the dot recovered yeah. dot stable dot quicker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as long as you've got enough stroke to maintain your reliability then you're good to go. But we yes. run into that occasionally because the short stroke PCCs close so quickly, sometimes they'll outrun the magazine. And it's particularly because all the PCC mags are that big. You know, they're, they're, it's a slower system generally. So often we end up running into people that have short stroke their guns a little too much. Yes. And they'll end up with reliability problems. So this long stroke system, I, on, I would only recommend people who's using more duty type of rounds or really? fast cycling rounds, for example, 115 grains. If you are using watching video and you're using already gamer rounds like 150 grains, very slow rounds, heavy bullets, I don't recommend it at all. If you're using 115, maybe even 124 grains, it's a good consideration to try long stroke. Interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. And why, why do you say that? I already explained about how long stroke system can make that cycle s speed, slight cycle speed slow. Uh -huh. And you kind of already mentioned about heavy heavy bullet versus mm -hmm. light bullets. Right. Heavy bullet tends to have slight uh, less cycle time, slower cycle slower time. Cycle time yeah. If you add that slower cycle time of long stroke, slower cycle time of the bullet, it's going to be way too way slow. Too long. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Typically saying, in, if, if that's the case, uh, as a firearms instructor uh, opinion, uh -huh. you don't want to train in that environment where everything's uh, happening slower, slower pace. Sure. You wanna, if you wanna train hard, uh, you wanna train in the ground where things are happening faster and faster, so your eyes can see a uh, faster environment. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If you're starting to see everything slow, dot recovery, gun is cycling slow, everything is happening slow. It's not a perfect environment to develop high uh, speed marksmanship and it's skills. Different. It you know, is if different. If you have carry, if you have one load that you're using for one purpose and another one's using for a different purpose and they do di radically different things, 
when you change it's yes it's so a good way to kind of describe this gun is if i use i mean i mainly use 115 grain uh, range ammo typically mm -hmm. for training teaching sure. competition uh, 115 grains being working as if if i didn't have a long stroke system uh -huh. i felt like it was somewhat similar to using 124 130 grains sure. yeah. a little heavier bullet uh, but 115 grain would be a little to shock on my hand if I didn't have a long stroke system That's on my, my hands. Opinion, the 115s are too yes. blasty and too shocky. So by having a long stroke system for me, because I'm mainly using 115 light bullets, mm -hmm. uh, it had helped reducing the shock on my hand. That sounds great. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming mm -hmm. in once. That, that explained a lot for me. I, no, no I problem. I appreciate that very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you.